Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have the schedule of official content from CIG for this week, so let us take a look. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support, it is truly appreciated. And if you do enjoy my content, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. So this Tuesday, we have a post from the narrative team called Crossroads, which is said to be a short story about a Taveran pirate on the run from a bounty hunter and their face-off in a scrapyard. Also, November subscriber offerings will be published, both as a newsletter and as a comlink. Now, this Wednesday, with the transition from October to November, we have both the Persistent Universe and Squadron 42 monthly reports, which will be chonk full of updates regarding development, and as always, I will cover both of them in their respective videos. This Thursday, we have an absolute belter of an Inside Star Citizen, with a look at the current progress on the Cargo Refactor, which is coming in Alpha 318, plus revisiting the Rastar tool, discussing how it's evolved since we last saw it, which was back in CitizenCon last year, so 2021, and seeing how it will be used to place new outposts throughout the Stanton and Pyro system. Now, this episode is going to be pretty awesome. Firstly, we are finally going to learn about this cargo refactor, with a look into what we will likely be getting for Alpha 318 and its first implementation which I do hope may have increased due to the time it's taking to release, but also learn more about what the future rollouts of this system will look like from 3.18 onwards. And secondly, seeing what progress has been made on the Rastar tool and just see how quickly they can now generate these varying outposts of varying styles. Last we heard, they were working on the overlays, which allow them to cover these locations with visual differences, just to kind of create a different theme and players will eventually, maybe not anytime soon, but get a version of this tool to use when building their homesteads. So hopefully we may even hear a little bit about that as well, but as I say, that won't be for a while yet. And finally this Friday, the usual subscriber vault will be updated and weekly RSI newsletters emailed out. Star Citizen Live will be back. This week's show will be another two-part discussion, however the guests and topics are still to be determined but the time is expected to be around 4 p.m. UTC, which is the same as GMT now, uh, and that is 9 a.m. Pacific. Now, also this week, Jump Town 2.0 and Nine Tails Lockdown dynamic events are still ongoing, plus there are multiple Halloween, or Day of the Vara, as it is known in the verse, contests going on, so by all means, do follow the links below if there is something you want to take part in. Now, regarding Alpha 318 itself, there is no news since my last Evocati patch video. CIG will be gathering the data and working on fixes and updates to bring a new build out, I'm sure, as soon as possible. And I do expect we will see more Evocati patches this week. And of course, as and when they do come, I will cover the patch notes so that we can all follow along with its progress. From me this week, I will be focused on covering both the monthly reports and any Evocati builds, as well as covering this week's information in Star Citizen Sunday. I'll also be streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother on Thursday at 1pm GMT and at 3pm GMT on Friday, so do by all means come and hang out and say hello while we chill, chat and just wait for 3.18 to come around. But that is what to expect this week. I feel like it is going to be a bit of a beast week for news and information with both monthly reports, the cargo Factor and this Rastar tool, plus whatever Star Citizen Live has in store not to mention checking out any news about the 318 rollout. Cannot wait. But with that said, as I say, if you do enjoy these videos, please do consider subscribing. Also hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. It does the channel a big favor and tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.